Good afternoon, this is Paul. Uh, today I've got great pleasure in showing you this Ferrari 360 Spider with a manual gearbox. Now, I picked this car up today from London and I have to say, of any of the Ferrari 360s or 430s that I've driven, this is one of the tightest feeling um, that I've driven. The gearbox is nice and slick. There's no stickiness in second gear, so it glides from gear to gear. The clutch feels really, really nice. Suspension feels good, the brakes feel lovely. It just feels like a really nice, sorted car. Um, it's a Nero Daytona, which is Ferrari's version of metallic black, which looks beautiful as you can see. Um, it's got some challenge um, options with it. So you've got the challenge style wheels and the challenge rear grille, as you can see here which goes right across and it lets out lots of heat but also looks really cool um, it's got challenge grills on the front as well I'll just walk your rear out of the front the Nero Daytona with Nero leather and the, uh, the carbon fibre racing seats it's pretty much the perfect specification I would think you can see down here, if you look there, you can see the, the carbon weave in the seats. So they're really lightweight. They've got the prancing horse stitched on the headrests. In fantastic condition. This is a 2003 car. So it's actually one of the later of the 360s, which is a really good thing. It's like a lovely gearbox. It does feel really nice, that gearbox. Um, some Ferraris can be a bit sticky in second. Um, this one definitely isn't, it's lovely. Um, but the, they were towards the end of their run and I think with any, any manufacturer, it's a nice stereo system there which you connect your phone with Bluetooth. We do have the original stereo in the luggage box. Okay, but uh, as a car, as a model runs through its production line, the later cars tend to be a little bit better all round than the early ones because the manufacturer has time to sort of iron out any niggles, take care of any little bits and pieces that, that might, uh, might show up as the car goes through its production run. And this is what we've got here. Just looking all the way around it, the paintwork is stunning. The wheels are like new, drives very close to to add new my things coming off again that's because of the heat even in the engine bay the gentleman I picked this car up from this morning this isn't the only car we've had from him and he clearly understands how to look after his cars because that's what it looks like under the bonnet Oh, that's effectively 17 years old. That's really nice. It comes with a car cover which is popped in the boot. It's done 16 and a half thousand miles. It's got a lovely service history. And it's just all around a really, really pretty car. So, um, and being um, of a manual gearbox, it's more and more rare now as time goes on that any car has a has a manual gearbox and having one that looks like that and changes gear the way that it does is a rarity so as they get older they become more rare and this will be a lovely car to own going forward thank you very much for watching um, if you'd like to see any more photos and um, look at the full details of the car please visit our website www.clinkardcars.co.uk um, thank you very much for watching